Hello everyone to the Juice Side and welcome to Let's Talk. My guest today is CEO of uh, Project Angel Food, Richard Ayu. What's our last name origin, by the way? It's actually <laughs> Lebanese. So oh, I'm that's... half Lebanese and half Mexican. Hence this Greek Italian look. <laughs> well, thank you for taking the time to be with me today. And as you know, Let's Talk's initiative is to get kids on here so we can share the stories that they, what they're doing in the community and at the same time with our own initiative to make sure that people are aware for every guest that comes on the show, we donate 500 masks to the community that in need. And people have been a great support matching our donations. Our goal of 100,000 is almost met. We're at 85,000 as we count today. That's so incredible. So thank you for here today. Now, Project Angel Food, what an amazing organization and what's fascinating to me the most is not just the organization, that your involvement with the organization, because you have such a tremendous background in entertainment industry, producing content for celebrities and television shows. What took you from there to Project Angel Food? Well, that's a good question. My, my professional career started in television news. I was a TV news producer in my hometown of El Paso. And my goal was to make a difference in my small part of the world. Mm. So I went from El Paso to Tucson to Orlando to L.A. My small part of the world kept getting bigger and bigger. And the impact kept getting smaller and smaller. And so there were times in my career that I asked myself, should I stop doing this and do something that makes the world a better place? Wow. That was always my question. And I got into entertainment journalism. I worked at Extra, did TV show for seven and a half years. I was part of the team that brought Mario Lopez there. It was really, really a great time. And I did many other things. And then one day, a friend of mine, Bobby Ralston, who is on the board of Project Angel Food, called me up and said, Richard, we're making a change in leadership at Project Angel Food. And I think we need someone just like you. You know wow. everyone. If you don't know them, you know how to get to them. You can tell a story and you're compassionate. Would you ever consider, you know, joining us even temporarily as executive director? And so if you're asking yourself all your life, is there something I can do to make the world a better place? And you actually get a phone call with the answer. The only answer I could give him was yes. With no hesitation. With no hesitation. And then but, afterward, I thought, what did I just do? <laughs> well, that's incredible because it's a nonprofit organization. So you're taking, let's just say it as it is, you're taking a huge pay cut. You're taking a huge opportunity of, of how many people desire to be around celebrities and stardom, the Hollywood, the red carpet. And you're taking all that and said, no, nope, I want to do something better for the, for the, for, for the world, for, for helping people. But what's amazing to me is that you had to go through that path because the people you have met through that path, the influencers, the actresses and the actors and organizations, you have in your back pocket now. Yes, you know, many of them are supporting Project Angel Food, and it's pretty incredible. And some already were supporting Project right. Angel Food. Uh, but what, what it teaches you is as a television producer, what happens is you learn how to juggle a zillion things at a time. So at <laughs> yeah, one moment, did. I'm talking to you. The next moment, I'm talking to someone who just gave us $100,000. Mm. The next moment, clients calling me saying, I didn't get my delivery yet. Do you know when it's coming? And, you know, and then staff will come to me. So I have all these people that I have to juggle. And being a producer, you learn how to do that. And you learn how to do it effectively and keep your calm. And, wow. act, and especially during this pandemic, when everyone is living in fear, it's really important to have these skills where you can help people and provide them with calm and tranquility. 
Well, let's talk about Project Angel Food. How did it first initiate? How did it start? And, and how has it grown through the time of evolution and where it is today? So Project Angel Food was born in 1989 in response to the AIDS crisis. Mm -hmm. Marianne Williamson was seeing a lot of her friends dying alone and of AIDS. And she wanted to send them love in the form of food. And so she found a church in West Hollywood where she got volunteers to cook meals and other volunteers to deliver the meals. It was 100% volunteer in 1989. And it was just comfort food for people dying of AIDS. As we found out that people were living longer with HIV, we got a registered dietitian on staff and realized that if you give them a nutritious meal, their viral load will go down and they'll be healthier. And then when the HIV crisis became more manageable, we said, this is too great of a gift. We've mm. got to share it with anyone who is sick, hungry, and alone in Los Angeles County. So today we are serving people with heart disease, lung disease, diabetes, kidney failure, all forms of cancer, and of course, HIV as well. And, and all of these meals are medically tailored. And it's such an organization that is supported by the LGBTQ community as well. And that's, just so, that's something I'm so proud to see how, how it started with the pandemic of AIDS and then evolved into something that just there to help the people who in need. That's, this is, this is this, you, the project could have stopped when the AIDS pandemic got control, right? When it right. came to kind of flatline, we're able to manage it there medications and we're not hearing as many people dying and just by the way for the record people are still dying it's just yes. that it's, it's we don't want to think that that's over just like this pandemic it was going to stay for a while and we, we, we learned through that history what we need to continue doing is provide and give and it, that to me i'm so proud to be part of my community to know that in my community there is such an amazing organization that continue to grow outside the spectrum what it started with and now that we know there are, there are a lot of elderly communities of people that need Project Angel Food. How do you sustain the, the support to keep the organization going? So it is important to mention that this is the LGBTQIA. Um, <laughs> the list goes on. <laughs> the list goes on. Our gift to all of Los Angeles. Mm. You know, we could have shut down. We should have. We could have scaled down, but we use our knowledge and our force and our power for good, and we shared it with everyone else. And so that is incredible. How do we sustain it? We sustain it by talking to people like you and reaching your audience, so thank you for that. And we do it by having celebrities come to our events and also amplify our message on social media or television or radio or whatever outlet they may have. And, you know, a celebrity can be anyone from an influencer to a reality star to a movie star to a superstar or royalty. So there's um, a lot of different ways. And also just being in touch with our supporters and telling them what we're doing and when we need them. And mm. that's what we've done. And, you know, people ask me, how are you doing with COVID-19? Well, obviously our population is a population that you don't want to get COVID-19. They're immune suppressed. They're the ones, if they get it, they will die. They're the ones who cannot go to a grocery store. They have mobility issues. And if they can, you don't want them waiting in line for toilet paper, for God's sake. You want them to have the things come to them. So we deliver these frozen, medically tailored meals to them. And just this week, we started doing an essentials package, which has two rolls of toilet paper, hand sanitizer, three face masks, and hand wash and other things so that they will have these necessities. And this month, this month of May, we are going from 1,600 clients to 2,000 clients a day. Wow. And it's the support of the public because, you it's know. It's amazing. Did you it's... see that movie, Field of Dreams? Of course. 
Build it, it will come. Exactly. And that's <laughs> what we're doing. But what, what's amazing is that we need to give a little credit to this organization is run by volunteers. So the people who are delivering food, they're volunteering. They're putting themselves in, in, in harm's way, let's say, that because they are more easily exposed when they're out there in public space when everybody's having a quarantine and shutdown. And I, I think it's so important for a spot on, a, on them and thank them for their effort and all the work they're doing. It's incredible. This organization has been volunteer driven since day one. We have suspended volunteers in the kitchen right now because we were bringing 200 people in a week. There were 200 new people, 200 wow. potential exposures to the virus. Mm. So we hired some out of work restaurant chefs to come in. And so we oh, have yes. seven of them. They're incredible. It's at a cost of $40,000 a month. Well, that. we need all of all, we need donations. We need all the support we can for Project Angel Food. The amazing work that you guys are doing. It's it it. I I you know when I read about Project Angel Food back back way back and in the days that and your involvement with Trevor Project, I've been watching from afar. Going, this is incredible for our community. And it took me a while to to get involved with my community. And back then I was able to be involved with designing a website for Trevor Project, helping with the events. And, and truly, it, this pandemic right now really remind me again how I need to be more active and involved. So something comes out of this for us to reflect again. It would be an honor for me one day, you know I cook. I would love to come and cook for the people. We, we want you Project to come Angel cook. Food. But you know, when you, when you come cook, you have to be ready to be given, you know, instructions. Like you might be on cutting onion duty. <laughs> <laughs> Sous chef is where you start. Washing <laughs> dishes is where you start. That's exactly. where I started in the kitchen with my dad. I'm happy to go back there. Now my knife work may not be your satisfaction, but <laughs> I will bang out some amazing Asian food for the All people right. who love okay. it. Just a little change of palate, you know, just a little change of palate. And I so do now, want to clarify one thing. You mentioned the Trevor Project. I, mm. I was on the board of the Trevor Project for seven years, mm. and that's a suicide prevention lifeline, and it's fantastic for gay and lesbian and questioning youth, and uh, I will always support them, and you supported them and continue to, so we, we appreciate that as well. But also think, during this time, during the pandemic, I talked to so many people on the show as well as offline, a lot of people want to help. They just don't know how. It truly is that situation. In fact, when I started raising money for the mask, a lot of people go, oh, okay, I, I have $100. I have $50. That, that's good enough to help. Guys, everyone out there, every penny, every dollar, every cent helps. And organization like Project Angel Food is delivering food to people who need it, who are elderly people, who are sick people, who are, and, and who have COVID. Whatever that is, it's a need. And with your help, it really supports an organization and it can continue to bring nurturing information and food. Because you're not just delivering food, you're delivering information on your website. You're educating the community. I think that's another important point to cover because at this time, as we all know, there are a lot of misinformation out there. Oh, yeah. And, and, and we, we constantly do nutritional information for yes and education for our clients. And we are giving them information about COVID and the spreading of the virus. And we're doing social distancing. We deliver the meals to their homes. We put the meals on their doorstep. We step back six feet and we communicate with them, chat with them through the screen door. And then we, we give them a little love that way. We used to do high fives, hugs, yes. handshakes. Now we're just doing it all virtually, but you know, food is love. And it so is, and I'm so glad you said that about the interaction because I know for a fact firsthand with Project Angel Food that a lot of volunteers build a strong bond with the clients, with, with the people that they deliver food and for some of the patients. And, and, and so they, they live for that moment. They wait for that moment and they treasure that moment of interaction. And, and that is so beautiful. It's not organizing just donating a physical good. It's actually providing nourishing information as well as mental and physical love. And I know during this social distancing period that we cannot give the physical, but it's so good to know that you're taking the time 
to give an extra minute or two to talk yes. to them through social distancing because that's what we all need right now. We all desperately need that, right? We, we all need that. I need a hug. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> give it to me. I feel it. I feel the love. <laughs> you know, I haven't touched anyone <laughs> in uh, like six weeks. How long has it been? Yeah, yeah we, it, we need that contact. We need it. And so we're starting a new program called Telephone Angels, where we're having volunteers calling some of our clients who have shown that they might be a little more isolated, a little more lonely. 55% wow. of our clients live alone. So we want to make sure that they're feeling the love from us. Wow, that's, that's incredible. How does Project C itself continue to grow and expand over time? Because we saw it evolve through the AIDS pandemic and then now we're in COVID and we're all learning so much through this time. How do you see this organization grow? Well, Project Angel Food right now, we have several initiatives. One is to pay for the people on the program and to keep them fed, keep them mm. nourished, keep them taken care of. So that's 1600 adding the 400 making it 2000 a day. We want to do that. And what we also want to do is make sure we don't feed them just today. We mm. feed them tomorrow next month and six months from now because these are people with critical illness who will always need us or will need us for a very long time so we're doing aggressive fundraising we're asking everyone we know to give whatever amount they can so we can feed these people and we're at angelfood.org slash covid19 angelfood.org slash covid19 and, and how do, that way you can give any amount you want. We'll how do you get the community involved? With your background in entertainment, and how do you get the community energized and be, be activated even after COVID-19, right? Because this is not just this time and it's not an isolated incident. This is a, an ongoing issue that you have to attack. Right. So right now, as of now, all of our physical fundraisers have been canceled for the wow. next 12 months. Wow. And those brought in nearly $2 million. Oh so what God. we need to do is replace that $2 million. Mm. And we're looking at doing virtual fundraisers. We're calling people on the phone saying, if we ever needed you, we need you now. Mm. We're actually serving more people today than we did during the height of the AIDS crisis. Project Angel Food, I truly believe, was born for this moment Ugh. because we create, were creative during the pandemic and we have another one now. And so we have to rise to the occasion and we have to take care of everyone. And over the last six, six weeks, we've received 6,000 individual donations from Amazing. $2 to $20 to 200 to $100,000 from Polly Barrett, who has a new show on CBS called Broke. Uh, it's so generous and loving. The Hollywood Foreign Press Association sent us $100,000. And wow. you know, one of our clients, after we visited her, she gave us an envelope, and in the envelope were three $1 bills. Everyone does what they can, and it all counts. And there is energy in that donation absolutely now do you work with food banks and people donate food as well or is it just all based on donation of funds so we do get some uh food that has been rescued from farmers markets mm. we get oranges apples and pears because we give all of our clients fresh fruit so this is amazing organization called food forward that provides us with that and the Los Angeles Regional Food Bank also provides us with some of that fruit. And we're giving every single client an emergency kit with three weeks of shelf-stable meals that are canned goods like canned tuna, black beans, oatmeal, stuff like that. And the food bank has helped us with some of those. Initially, we bought a lot. And then the food bank said, we can start giving you some of these boxes. 
And well, in fact, I, when I came to work today, I saw a few at the entrance. <laughs> that's amazing. And I have seen a lot of initiative taken on by celebrities. Um, our friend Lisa Renner, for example, is very active with Project Angel Food. And we can't wait to get back to a new normal because we want to work with you together and, and see what we can do to help you. I, we I, love I, Lisa Renner. She's we incredible. Love her. <laughs> and she's been with us from day one. And because of her, we, we were on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And uh, we also have, you know, Lisa Vanderpump, the two Lisas. Love. And Lisa dedicated our 12 millionth meal. And uh, we're also going to be on Vanderpump Rules with that dedication. And uh, if you watched The Tonight Show last night uh, with Jimmy Fallon, Annie Lennox was on, did a beautiful performance. And every... Um, Celebrity on gets to talk about a charity, and she talked about us. So we're very grateful for that. Jamie Lee Curtis is a big supporter. Eric McCormick from day one has been there for us. Uh, do you know Cheryl Lee Ralph, one of the original Dream Girls? She of is course. one of our trustees. Uh, I mentioned Polly Peretz. She's been with us just nonstop for a very, very long time and uh, extremely generous. And uh, since you're in the fashion supermodel world, you probably know uh, Cheryl Teagues. Of course. She's, she's original. Of my, original. <laughs> Charlie Carver, he's also with it. Josh Flash, Adam Lambert, Charo, Coochie Coochie, Charo. We love. Frankie Grande. And uh, Carson Cressley is also really great. And Jane Lynch. And just recently, like on Easter Sunday and afterward, we got two brand new volunteers, and uh, it's the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Harry and wow. Megan. And so that's incredible. Uh, and that's what I'm. Grateful. That's what I think. Life takes us in places that you never realize. The journey that you travel, you actually you're gathering, you're gathering, you're 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 pollinating, and then you'll then be able to bring it and, and create a farm, and the farm can grow into all these amazing people that's nourishing the people that needs. And and that's incredible because who would know that a producer for, for Extra on television and in the world of truly just pure entertainment can turn that coin to the other side and flip all that into the ability to raise money, awareness, to support people in need. And I thank you for your service. I thank you for your your kindness and, and your, your strength to say, yes, this is what I need to do. That is something that we all can take lesson and learn because God knows in the business of fashion, there are days I do question, am I doing enough? Am I oh, doing yeah. what I need to be doing? And what can I do to give back? And we had this conversation earlier. You asked me how I got into this and I said, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I, I fell into fashion in, in a very different way that I never thought I'd be a fashion photographer. I did not want to work with celebrities. But once I started working with them, I realized that something great comes out of it, and that is the influential capability they have. When they have the right messaging and you pair it with the right imagery that I can capture, we can really speak loudly what they want to speak of. So I hope one day that you and I can collaborate together. Perhaps we photograph the, the, all, all the names that you have mentioned before and do a fundraiser um, um, on the behalf of Project Angel Food. I would be we would love that. that. I would yeah, be honored absolutely. to do that. And I do want to thank my agent uh, for 12 years, Bobby Heller, for introducing yes, us Bobby. together. Thank you, Bobby, for this opportunity for for start of a new friendship and a collaboration to help our community. Because I know that he's very involved with it. Ace Memorial projects and all the stuff that, that surrounds our community. And and God knows, he tells me, get involved more. Get involved. Yeah, Bobby's wow. Bobby's incredible. I'm getting involved. And thank you for being involved. And thank you. Thank you for being here, allowing me to share the stories that what you do and what Project Angel Food does for our community. Thank you again. Thanks for shining the light on us. We appreciate that. And, well, stay uh, strong and stay healthy out there because we need you. Yeah. I've got my uh, face mask covering up, and um, it's Giving Tuesday now. So please think of Project Angel Food with your gift giving, and any amount counts and is appreciated. Even sharing this video we uh, also would help us. So thank you. Well, until we get to be in the kitchen again together and making delicious food for anybody who needs, 
I will see you then. Stay safe. Okay. Take Thank care. you so much. Thank you so much.